The surprising effects of quitting alcohol. What is emerging from the international literature is once again the story of a scandal. A scandal perpetuated by the food industry to deceive the population and make them believe that something that is very harmful is instead beneficial. I am talking about alcohol, all types of alcohol. Today, studies show that there is no safe amount of alcohol for your health. If you were previously convinced that one or two glasses or moderate drinking could be healthy, or even help reduce the risk of disease, this has been proven to be completely false. This misconception has been perpetuated since I was a child, with the idea that drinking a beer with friends is a moment of companionship. Advertising campaigns have linked the act of socializing, having fun, and unwinding with the consumption of alcoholic beverages. In our culture, it is now an accepted fact, and I believe that there is no one in America who has not had at least one drunken episode in their life. It may be time to change this culture and become aware that alcohol is harmful in any quantity and in any beverage. In this video, we will look at how your body changes when you stop drinking alcohol. Before continuing, dear viewers, if you appreciate the content of this video and are satisfied with it, we invite you to consider the option of subscribing to our channel or supporting us with a donation. Your support is essential for the growth and constant improvement of our channel, and it will allow us to continue producing high-quality content for you. You can do it here below through the appropriate buttons, subscribe, and thanks. Since I was a child, I have always associated alcohol and the act of drinking alcoholic beverages with the idea of being together, having fun with friends and unwinding. One of the first effects of alcohol is that it disinhibits you, making you more sociable, outgoing, and perhaps even giving you the courage to make friends with that girl or boy you like. It starts with a beer or a glass of wine, then moves on to a cocktail, and maybe even a shot of hard liquor. The result is the classic hangover with nausea, headache, and vomiting. These are consequences that we have always believed are harmless, as long as they are limited in time and occur only occasionally, such as on the weekends. For years, consumer associations have been working to raise awareness and provide information about alcohol, especially among young people. However, the market always seems to prevail. Even in the aisles of supermarkets, the transition from a can of soda or an energy drink to a beer or an alcoholic beverage is seamless. As we age, however, even moderate drinking, such as one or two glasses a day, can have a tremendous impact on your health. It can affect the functioning of your liver, cause problems for your pancreas, create real changes in your emotions, increasing the risk of anxiety and depression, lower your sexual desire and your immune system, and even cause insomnia. Let's look at the 11 positive effects on your body when you decide to stop drinking alcohol. The first benefit of quitting alcohol is for the health of your pancreas and your endocrine system. One of the most common problems associated with alcohol consumption is pancreatitis, an inflammation of this important gland. In America, there are approximately 200,000 cases of acute pancreatitis and 15,000 cases of chronic pancreatitis each year. When the pancreas does not function correctly, it does not produce the necessary molecules and hormones for digestion and the proper functioning of your body. The number one cause of pancreatitis is the abuse of alcohol, which also has consequences for your ability to digest food. The pancreas produces inactive enzymes that are only activated in the duodenum once they are inside the digestive tract. However, when there is inflammation of the pancreas, as a consequence of excessive alcohol consumption or even moderate drinking, these enzymes are activated before they are released into the digestive tract, causing inflammation of the organ itself and difficulty with digestion, which can also lead to nutritional deficiencies. The second benefit of quitting alcohol, or even just the occasional beer or wine with meals, is for the health of your liver. Your liver, which has to process this substance every time you drink alcohol to eliminate it and transform it into energy or fat, can experience enormous relief when you stop drinking. The liver has an essential function for the proper functioning of your body, as it eliminates and processes both toxic substances and alcohol. However, if you constantly engage your liver in processing alcohol to eliminate it, you will take away its ability and energy to process other substances. The result is that you may suffer much more easily from systemic inflammation of your entire body, and in particular inflammation of the liver. If this inflammation is prolonged over time, it can lead to cirrhosis of the liver, which is a true and proper laceration and scarring of the liver tissue that can no longer regenerate itself and function properly. The third benefit of quitting alcohol is for your blood sugar levels. In fact, not drinking alcohol is a recommendation given to all diabetics. Even in a relatively healthy person, quitting alcohol could lower those blood sugar spikes that lead to drowsiness, fatigue, and irritability. 
inflammation of the liver and pancreatitis are directly related to blood sugar levels. A pancreas that is not functioning properly will have much more difficulty introducing insulin into the bloodstream. And you may suffer from high blood sugar levels. High blood sugar is a serious problem that does not only affect people with a diagnosed diabetes problem but all of us. Every time we have an overly abundant meal or drink alcohol. If you feel tired, drowsy, heavy or have gained a little weight, the cause is likely a blood sugar spike. All of these symptoms, as well as many others that I have described in another video, can be reduced and controlled when you stop drinking alcohol. The fourth benefit of quitting alcohol is for your central nervous system. The effects of alcohol on the nervous system are something that you have likely experienced in one of those evenings when you have had a few too many drinks. You may have noticed a lack of coordination, balance, and even lucidity in your decision making. However, when alcohol consumption is prolonged over an indefinite period of time, these effects can become more serious and affect various aspects of your personality. You may suffer from physical alterations, such as tingling and numbness in the hands and feet, but the main effects are on memory and the ability to make conscious decisions. Drinking alcohol is directly related to difficulty concentrating and a loss of short-term memory, which is particularly true in the young population between the ages of 16 and 23, when the brain is still in a phase of development. In a study conducted on young university students, it was found that drinking just one glass of wine before bed was enough to reduce the ability to memorize a lesson learned the same day by 50%. If we take this information about young people and project it onto a 60 or 70 year old person who has been drinking alcohol daily for the rest of their life, we can understand how this habit can be the basis for degenerative diseases of the nervous system, such as Parkinson's, Alzheimer's or senile dementia. Senile dementia is one of the main problems in the elderly population today but it can be prevented with a correct lifestyle, diet, and above all by recognizing the early signs. The fifth benefit of removing alcohol from your diet is for your digestive system. If you suffer from diarrhea, bloating, or stomach ulcers, you will see great benefits when you quit alcohol. The reason is that alcohol has a direct influence on your intestinal walls. When you drink alcohol, it increases the permeability of the intestine because there is a barrier between what is external or what comes from the outside and passes through your intestine, which remains external to your body and what is internal. This barrier is for the protection of your body and your immune system and must always be intact to prevent toxins and bacteria from entering your body or simply to prevent substances that are not digested from entering the bloodstream and causing inflammation. For example, gluten for those who are intolerant or celiac. When you drink alcohol, you kill many of the positive and healthy bacteria in your body and increase the number of less healthy ones. The result is an increase in intestinal permeability and therefore a much greater ease for the substances you ingest to pass directly into your bloodstream without being digested, causing disturbances such as diarrhea, flatulence, bloating or more serious problems such as intolerances. The sixth benefit is for your circulatory system and your heart. When you quit drinking alcohol, you will see that your blood pressure will return to normal levels. Your heart rate will become regular, and your risk of problems such as strokes or heart attacks will be greatly reduced. Additionally, people who drink alcohol daily have an increased difficulty in assimilating vitamins and minerals and are more likely to suffer from anemia due to a lack of red blood cells. If you often look pale, have cold hands or feet, or experience tremors, you may have anemia as a result of excessive alcohol consumption. However, it is important to note that there is no guarantee or certainty that red wine is good for your circulatory system and reduces the risk of cardiovascular problems. What we do know is that there are special substances in the skin of grapes that act as powerful antioxidants, neutralizing free radicals. For this reason, red wine is a neutral beverage that, thanks to the positive effects of these antioxidants, such as resveratrol, balances out the negative effects of alcohol. However, this does not mean that red wine and alcohol are good for you. It simply means that, thanks to the grapes and their red skin, there is a buffering effect, a function of buffering the negative effects of alcohol. You can have the same exceptional benefits of red grapes by eating them directly or drinking a non-alcoholic juice. The seventh benefit of quitting alcohol will be for your sexual function. If you suffer from erectile dysfunction or vaginal dryness, it is best to quit alcohol. Alcohol not only has a negative effect on your libido and desire to have sex, but also a clear and specific effect on the production of certain hormones, particularly testosterone, by inhibiting its production. Additionally, it can alter the function of the most peripheral capillaries, leading to problems with erectile dysfunction due to insufficient blood flow to the genitals. 
If you want to know what the other causes of erectile dysfunction are, I have already made a video that you can find by clicking here. Additionally, if you have low testosterone levels and want to increase them naturally, there is another video by clicking here that will show you some simple ways to increase testosterone and therefore your life expectancy. The eighth benefit that you can enjoy is for the health of your musculoskeletal system. On the one hand, your bones will benefit, as alcohol consumption is directly related to an increase in osteoporosis and fractures. Therefore, if you are an older person over the age of 70 who takes little vitamin D, gets little sun, and eats little calcium, and therefore has a high risk of osteoporosis, quitting alcohol completely can at least mitigate this risk. In the muscles, alcohol does not have many positive effects. If you have muscle weakness, muscle atrophy, or repeated cramps, quitting alcohol may help you solve these problems. The tenth benefit of quitting alcohol is that you will lower your risk of developing cancer, such as cancer of the throat, tongue, esophagus, stomach, breast, and even lungs. This is because alcohol is a true and proper stress and trauma in the synthesis and production of DNA within the cell, and an alteration of DNA is the primary cause of a cellular malfunction and a cellular alteration that can become cancerous and behave abnormally. Finally, the eleventh benefit of quitting alcohol will be for your psychological health. If you suffer from anxiety, stress, or panic attacks, quitting alcohol will bring you enormous benefits. Alcohol is directly related to these mood swings that are so sudden. We have all seen it when we drink too much. The first to be affected is the nervous system. You may feel more disinhibited, which can be useful, but it also means that you are losing control of your emotions and will be at the mercy of them, feeling sad or happy with such sudden changes that they can lead to anxiety. Anxiety that for many people is precisely related to not knowing how their body will react, not knowing what the surrounding environment will be like, and therefore living the situation always as a state of emergency to which to react rather than act. The link between anxiety and altered psychological states is so serious that even the Manual of Psychological Disorders indicates that there are bipolar problems related to alcohol, depressive problems related to alcohol, problems with insomnia, and anxiety related to the use of this substance. After I have presented to you all the benefits of quitting alcohol, I imagine that you too can give it some thought and decide to begin this detoxification process. Keep in mind that if you are used to drinking only one or two glasses, you should not have any problems. However, if your habit of drinking has already exceeded this threshold considered to be moderate, you may already be in the phase of dependence. This means that your body is now accustomed to alcohol, and if you suddenly stop drinking, you may have serious consequences as you are not giving your body time to react. The symptoms of withdrawal include anxiety, tremors, irregular heartbeat, tremors, convulsions, and hallucinations. Therefore, if you believe that you have a dependence and want to quit, it is necessary that you be followed by a doctor or qualified personnel. How can you tell if you have a dependence? You may have a dependence even if you drink only once a week, but there are certain characteristics such as not being able to stop, wanting more and more when you start, and, above all, the main characteristic is that if you were to ask yourself why you don't quit drinking definitively, your answer would be, no, I can't quit drinking. My life would have no meaning. This is a classic characteristic of dependence, where alcohol has taken possession of you, and you are no longer the one who decides whether to drink or not. I invite you to contact a doctor or a dedicated association if you think you have problems with alcohol abuse. If, on the other hand, you drink occasionally and want to make an important choice for your health, quit drinking immediately, as this will be the right choice. We would like to know about your experience regarding the topic covered today. Share it with us in the comments, and if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask them. We will gladly respond. Your like would be a source of satisfaction for us. And of course, do not forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the upcoming publications.